Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. It's been a few days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but I'm back with you again, and I'm going to share a good recipe with you today. We went to a gathering after a funeral, about a year ago, I guess. They had the best pimento cheese in the whole world there. And so my daughter asked the girl that had brought it if she would share her recipe, and she did. And it's simple, and you're probably going to think, I'm not too sure about this. You need to try it. All it is is one pound of sharp cheddar grated, one pound of Velveeta grated. You're going to take a red bell pepper and roast it in your iron skillet until it's charred and let it cool where you can peel it and seed it and chop it. And then you're going to add a whole quart of Hellman's mayonnaise. That's it. And let me tell you, this is delicious. And some of y'all are football fans, and you're going to have Super Bowl coming up. And you might need to put some of this in some celery sticks and on some crackers, or even make some little sandwiches, because it is yummy. So I'm going to um, bring y'all over here, and I'll get some of it going, and then we'll char the red bell pepper and get it ready, and we'll mix it all up show y'all how pretty it looks and then I'll taste of it and I'll tell you how good it tastes and y'all are going to want to make some for yourself. So come on over here to the boost block and I'll just show you what's here. Then we'll get on over to the stove and do our bell pepper. Now come on. Okay, I've got a pound of Velveeta, a pound of sharp cheddar, there's our red bell that we're going to roast and here's our Hellman's mayonnaise. She insisted that it be Hellman's, so if you're a fan of Duke or Kraft or whatever, follow the recipe and do the Hellman's. Now we're going to get over there to that little iron skillet that I've got on the stove right there, and we're going to roast that red bell pepper. Let me get the camera over there and we'll get started. Okay, I've just got the fire on high, and I'm just going to let it do its thing and keep turning it till I can get it good and charred. Now they say to put it in a paper bag when you get through with this, but I don't even know if I have a paper bag. Everything we get is plastic. But I may see if I can find a little paper bag to drop it down in, and uh, I'm going to let that side do, and then I'll bring y'all back as it's charring and show you what's going on. Well, the part that's touching the skillet's getting a little charred. I don't know what I'm going to have to do to get it all charred, but we'll get it done. And I found a big old grocery bag. I'm going to drop it down in here in a little bit. I could put it in the June oven under the broiler, and that may be what I end up doing. I am going to roast my red bell pepper in my June oven. And um, I'll show y'all as I go along. It's taking too long in the iron skillet, so I'm going to do it okay, in I've got June. my red bell peppers in the June oven, and I've got it set on broil. And I'm just going to leave them under the broiler until they're charred. And then we'll take them out and I'll show you what they look like. Let me show you. I've just got them on the pan on the top shelf. I'm going to let them broil. While the peppers are broiling and getting to uh, roasted, I have grated the cheddar cheese. And I'm grating the Velveeta. Now it has a tendency to mash. So you just have to mash it through the grater, but it will make the, the grated pieces like that. See the lighter colored is the Velveeta. So I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to mix all together when my peppers get done. Okay y'all, it's blackening some, so we're going to let it do some more. I love this June oven. Okay, my peppers are charred, and I'm going to um, take them and put them in this big old brown paper bag right here. Fold it down until they sweat a little bit and I can peel them and chop them and we'll put them in our pimento cheese. Okay, there they are in the bag. I'm fixing to fold it up and let them sweat till I can peel them real While easy. While my pepper's cooling, I'm going to go ahead and um, get my mayonnaise in here. This is another thing that I bought while I was working at Sur La Taube. And it's a fork with a metal inside but it's coated with silicon. This thing is wonderful for so much, but I've been just breaking this cheese up with it and stirring it to kind of blend it before I get the mayonnaise in there because the Velveeta is softer than the cheddar, so I wanted them to kind of be blended. 
So this is a neat thing, and you can get it at Sir La Table online too. But it sure is a it sure is a good gadget. Okay, I'm just going to add my mayonnaise. And of course, you can double this and use a whole two pound thing of Velveeta if you want to. I will share some of this with April because Lauren, the granddaughter, loves pimento cheese and we usually buy the prices. And um, so she can take her a sandwich with her. She has a layover at college. I call it a layover. It's time between classes. And um, she can make her a sandwich and stick it in her backpack and have something that she enjoys. Nanas and mamas are always thinking about those kids, you know. I'm going to go ahead and mix this a little bit. When you're mixing in like this, the mayonnaise, did you see how I swirled it around on the top? Makes it easier than having it all in one place to mix it. That red bell pepper roasted smells yummy. And y'all, in case you hadn't done it, a grilled pimento cheese sandwich is delightful too. The kids like for me to put ham and cheese on their grilled cheese and then once it's done, they want me to open it up and put some sliced tomatoes on it. They got their own little methods of stuff that they enjoy. You know, I guess, I don't know about the Velveeta. I was going to say this might be keto friendly, I don't know. I don't know how much is in the Velveeta, but the cheddar would be, and the bell pepper, I guess, would be. Y'all know I don't know much about that stuff, so y'all have to decide that for yourself. All right, let me get the bell pepper over here, and I'll get it peeled, if it'll peel already, and we'll get the rest of this done. I sure had to use a big old bag for one little old bell pepper, but that's okay. See what here. That peeling usually, yeah, it's just going to slip right off. And it was much better to heat the June than to heat my big oven to do this, so that's good. And I really don't care if there's a little piece of the black in there, it just makes it look better to me. Get the seed out. hot still. I'm going to put this here on the block, my good old booze block, and I'm going to chop it. I mean, this is taking longer because I'm talking as I go and trying to make a video, but if y'all were just whipping it out at home, it really doesn't take long to make this. There you have it, and that's a little warm, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in there to get this finished. It may make the cheese a little bit runny, I don't know. We'll see. And again, I'm going to spread it all over the top, whereas I stir, it'll already be mixed a little bit. Okay, there you have it. It's all mixed up and ready, and I'm going to get a little bit of it plated up where I can show y'all and taste of it and I'll be right Here's back. Here's a bowl of the pimento cheese, uh, just a portion of it in a bowl. And then I've given y'all an idea of what I would do with it. We like it over Ritz crackers and we like it in celery sticks and it's delicious with scoops Fritos. Let me just tell you, if you've never tried it, oh my goodness. And then of course, just a pimento cheese sandwich. So there's a little idea of what you can do with it. Quick and easy to make. Terribly delicious. Hurry up and get to this party because I like this stuff. I'll tell you what I like. I like these Scoops Fritos with the pimento cheese on it. That's delicious. So you don't have to go to the store and buy whatever brand y'all have. 
you can just make your own at home and it's delicious. And it makes a bunch. It makes a bunch of pimento cheese. So you have enough for a big crowd. I'm glad to be back in the kitchen with y'all. I'm glad that our life is settling down a little bit. Um, April is doing pretty good. Some days sick with chemo, some days not. But the good Lord's with us and we're just trusting Him. And we're just going to keep on cooking good stuff and sharing recipes with y'all. Giving you a little update every now and then because that's what's going on in my world. We're uh, having cool weather in Texas today. And for the next few days it's going to be cool. So y'all know what that means. The fireplace is going. <laughs> and sometimes we open the door to let a little more cool air in. But it makes it fun to be able to use the fireplace. So anyhow, I hope y'all are making some good meals for your family. Because I had been on here fussing at you and admonishing you to do it. Turn off all those gadgets. You know what? Our gadgets were off today because they cut one of the AT&T cables up at the highway. And it's a welcome reprieve for me because then the people at my house find something else to do besides sit and be on the computer all the time. But y'all, uh, turn your junk off. Spend some time with your family. Life is short at the, at the longest. I mean, when you compare 100 years to forever, that's not very long, is it? Y'all spend time with your family. Feed them some good stuff. Make some good memories. Talk to the good Lord. Live as clean and good as you can. Try to please Him. And, uh, of course, you got to eat along the way. So come back here in a day or two and learn something else new to do. The good Lord bless y'all. And I'll see you uh, Thursday.